everyone, Sensei Cassie here at RSD, and we're going to be working on ways that you can improve your coordination at home with a pair of socks. We're going to start with a simple toss, and you're going to try to get five tosses in a row for each one before you progress. If you want to challenge yourself, you could try a second level with 10 tosses in a row, or even third level with 20 catches in a row without dropping it. If I'm practicing a catch and I drop it, then I restart the count until I can get five in a row. It's important that you track with your eyes, so you want to focus on whatever you're catching with your eyes. We're going to start with a simple two-handed underhand toss. So I'll toss it up with two hands and catch with two hands. Try to get five in a row of a two-handed toss. We're going to move to a single hand toss. So I'm going to use one hand. Your right or your left, start with whatever you're strongest with, and you're going to try to catch it with that one hand. And then once you get five in a row, you want to move to your opposite hand. So our third drill, we're going to pass it back and forth. So I'm going to take one hand and pass it to the other hand, and then I'll pass it back like that. So we got one. You will drop it sometimes, you'll miss, but don't give up, pick it up, try again, and I promise you'll get better every time. Next up, we're going to try to bounce it on our palm, so I'll try to bounce it five times in a row, and then I can switch sides and try the other hand. Make sure you bend your knees, it makes it easier to move and adjust. Catch it, and then you can try to go back and forth. Keep your eyes locked on it. Like that. Then I'm gonna move to trying to pass it over my head. So I'm gonna lay the hand back, toss it up, and try to catch it. You can do this with either hand and catch with both at first, and try to get five in a row. You're tossing it with the hand under. Okay, so now, similar to that one, we're going to lay down and you're going to toss it up while laying on your back and try to catch it. Now, at first, you're probably going to toss it that way. And you'll have to go get it. But laying on your back, up, and catch. Two hands is easier at first, so bring both hands together and catch. Then you want to move on to again catching with just one hand. And then, like we did earlier, passing back and forth. And again, you can get to where you can throw this much higher. <laughs> and challenge yourself a bit more. For our next one, we're going to go into a push-up position. And you're going to try to catch while you're holding your push-up position. So toss and catch with one hand, and then switch it, try the other hand, and then you can try to alternate hands. This is a lot more difficult, so I'll try to toss, switch the hand, and catch it before it hits the ground. So another one on the ground, this one we're going to set out sideways and raise yourself up and try to toss out with one hand up and back. From there, we have a really challenging one. So this is the hardest one. Well, this is the hardest one out of these. But you're gonna try to catch it behind your back. So you're gonna toss it over your head and try to catch it behind your back, like that. And then repeat. And you'll miss it a lot more on that one. So see if you can get five in a row on the behind the back cap. I'll show you from this angle. Have fun with these drills at home, and you'll find that you get better and better. Set goals. Start by trying to get three, five in a row, or ten, and then twenty, until you get really confident with all of these catches, and you'll see improvements in everything you do. We'll see you next time.